Oh, I wanted to quickly mention this clip as well. <laughs> I wanted to quickly mention this thing as well. I've, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but we have this show in the UK called the Great, the Great British Bake Off. And I guess it's now transitioned into just being a general cooking show. It's not just about baking cakes and shit. It's pretty popular. I'm sure you have a version of it in the States, or maybe they show the show in the States. It's a pretty popular TV show in general. But it's always it's always interesting when they cook stuff that you American people would know more about or people from the actual country where it's from um, in terms of Mexican food. It's always hilarious to see the response on Twitter when, they, when American people see what we think Mexican food is meant to look like. And this is a good example. This is a clip taken from the Great British Bake Off showing them showing off what they think uh, taco basically looks like. And it's pretty hilarious because it looks nothing like something you'd eat in Mexico, in LA, in other parts of the States. It's just not the same. So um, if you're American or if you're familiar with uh, Mexican cuisine, please look at this and let me know. Is this is this authentic? What do you think? Is this authentic? What do you think? Play, 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 play. Mexican wheat pro. It has okay. to be tacos. Tell me about the fillings then. You've got a pico de calo, which is basically a salsa, a guacamole. Then you have this. You hear what thing. he said? Was that, was, that, was that better or same level as Brenda Shaw? Pica de, pica de gallo. Pica de Calo. What do you say? Is it Pica de Calo? Let's run again. That was pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> pica de Calo. Let's see. Let's see. Tacos. Tell me about the fillings then. You've got a Pica de Calo, which is basically. A Pica de Calo. <laughs> free de Calo. <laughs> you got a free de Calo on top of your taco. <laughs> Legendary artist. Then you have this steak and a little bit of cheese and also refried beans. And that's it. Dog. Jesus Christ. That's a nick. You know what? You know what I'm going to say? That's a nigger taco. You know, nigger tacos have to have cheese on it. That's what that looks like. That's like a nigger taco. Like with cheese, uh, <laughs> sauces, uh, fried stuff, like, you know, deep fried shit, tempura fried shit. Like, that's a nigger taco if I've ever seen it. Like, what in the fuck, man? So refried beans. And that's it. It does look good. And the big thing is getting the taco right. Thickness of the tortilla, is it going to be too thick or too thin? And then the actual stage on the pan. Do you only need less than a minute on both sides? If you do any... <laughs> it's the, I love the... I love the fucking... This is that colonial energy, isn't it? This is that kind of... This is that queen... Um, this is that Queen Elizabeth energy. Do you know what I mean? That, like, you know, we went out there and we conquered different lands, took over their their countries you know smuggled over their food or just stole their food flat out and then we speak about it with such authority that man is explaining how to cook a tortilla as if like he's been on the streets of fucking guadalajara cooking them himself do you know what i mean or he's in mexico city somewhere in a little street on a little little vending machine do you know what i mean his little stool doing it himself and it's like what what are you talking about brother any more than that it will dry out and when you try and roll it up into a taco it will crack it's got to to be pliable and they are very thin they are very thin and if it is thin it will work one of the big things in mexico when you're having a taco is it's lovely to have a lot of filling on it but it has to be practical as well no it isn't there's not filling again i've only been once but from what i remember if anything it's really plain they don't put much on it it's basically just a taco in terms of the, the, the device to hold the thing the whatever meat and some sort of um what they call it whatever some green but that was it there wasn't anything else in it that's when i realized the things i see on the internet are completely different actual tacos that you get in mexico are really really basic like they've got maybe three or four ingredients that's it and it's not chunky stuff it's just like a little bit do you know what i mean cilantro is it cilantro they put on it yeah i think it's cilantro right they put on it you should be able to encase it and yeah see yeah see someone's saying in the chat meat salsa onions um and cilantro that's what they actually put in it but look at this thing this looks like a fucking Big Mac. <laughs> this looks like a Big Mac with a top off or something. Absolutely crazy. Choose your okay. taco. Okay. Wow. Mm. The corn flavor coming from the taco is perfect. Blended with all the ingredients on the top. Overall, it's a delicious eat. I mean, for me, this and is... And what kind of cheat? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. What did you say? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, no, no. What did you say? What did you say? Let's go back there. What did you say? This is authentic Mexican cooking. What did you say? Eat. I mean, for me, this is Mexican cooking on a plate. Can I have it for my lunch? Oh my God, for her, that is Mexican cooking. This is this is just as good as she remembers it. <laughs> Let's say again. Overall, it's a delicious eat. I mean, for me, this 
is Mexican cooking on a plate? Can I have it for my lunch? <laughs> Mexican way. Jesus pray. Christ, man. Anyway, big up us. Um, you know, pick up the guy. <laughs> exactly, pick up the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gringo Papi, man, that's fucking. That's gonna go down in history, man. One of the fucking worst specials of all time. Big up that guy. Big up that guy. <laughs> and then to continue on matters, do you want to look? At, do you guys want to see how we um how we cut flipping avocados in the UK? Are you are you curious? Because we don't really have a big Mexican community. Here. We do have some Mexican restaurants here and there. Don't get me wrong, especially in London. You know, it's multicultural. This city, as they like to remind us every single day. So there are some decent Mexican places, but it's not like, you know, there's not a big community of them. It's not like LA or anything or Texas and stuff. So do you want to see how people in the UK cut avocados? Are you curious? Let me show you. <laughs> Look at how we cut avocados. <laughs> Honestly, look at how we cut avocados. <laughs> look at <laughs> She's cutting it like a pear. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need mexicans in our country we need mexicans badly we need people from central america we need people from south america to come and immigrate here on in their flipping masses we need them desperately so if you have any cousins or relatives in mexico and they're looking for a place to come and live tell them to come here i know it's a bit cold and a bit dreary but tell them to come here mate. honestly we need it we need it look at that look at that she's cutting the avocado like a fucking pear like it's, and she's lucky that the avocado is quite ripe. It's quite um, it's it's non-ripe, right? So it's pretty hard. So you're not gonna lose that much. But if this was ripe, this would be turning into fucking mashed potatoes in her hands pretty quickly. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like that is epic, isn't it? <laughs> if ever you wanted to know. <laughs> so if ever I fuck up some spellings or some pronunciations of like you know Mexicans type dishes and stuff, please be kind to me because this is what this is my base. These are my people. These are my fellow countrymen. And this is the, I mean, we don't have any real experience about that culture at all. Zero. Look at that. That's absolutely crazy, man. Oh, that's fucking epic. Cutting a fucking avocado like a pear is absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. Avocados are popular here, but, but you know, I don't know. Like, the, the to be fair, the, the av I don't know. The average person who eats avocado is probably somebody that's maybe a vegan, I'd say. If I'm, if I'm being honest, like, they're probably a vegan or somebody that's like into food. But your regular person on the street, I don't think they know what to do with, with, with an avocado or how to cut it or anything. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't, I don't think they do. I think the most people that know about an avocado in the UK are either vegans, um, vegetarians, people that work out and stuff who want you know want it as a source of um, what is it called? What's what's avocados again? I forgot. It's a source of something that people use in food. I forgot the name of it. And of course, they're stupid expensive too in the UK, and also they're not that good. And also they're super small. Our ones are like tiny. They're like, I don't know if you see them size of my hand next to the microphone. They're smaller than my microphone. Smaller than that. Way smaller. They're really, really tiny. So they're not the best value for money and shit. So yeah, big up, man. Big up, big up. You know, what? I'd, I'd have, you know, what? I'd go as far as saying, because again, I think people, people take the piss out of Americans a lot and about how you guys don't know geography and don't know like simple things and the school system, their shit. But I'd say a lot of people in the UK, I'd, I'd say, I'd say, to be fair, I'd say, there's probably a lot of people in the UK that don't know guacamole comes from avocados or guacamole com contains avocado. I don't think they'd, they'd, they compute it in their head. I really don't. Unless you cook. A lot of people just assume guac is just, I don't know, it's something that you can just like dig up from the ground or something. I honestly do think that. So um, I, I'm not going to have this whole like, oh, American people are dumb only. We have our fair share of uh, ignoramuses here too. Let's, let, me, let me tell you that. Let me fucking tell you that for sure. Um, moving on.